We saw one. Rescue attempts. A makeshift zoo. We had an MRE on it. Even a military stranding. And of course, heartbreak. Everything in our house is gone. Huey. Our journey began at the Bell Chase Naval Air Station near New Orleans. We flew with the Marines over rivers, swamps, and the bayou as they prepared to rescue the stranded from Hurricane Rita. The Marines know why they're here. We're here to help out our fellow Americans. And as long as they have that mission in mind, they'll go for days without sleep. On the ground in the tiny town of Erath, there's little ground to see. Either left or right, they're not going to let you through straight ahead. Okay. The water is four to eight feet high, flooding into homes and making boats a popular transport. When we were walking through, it was like up to here. The Marines rescued these two women as floodwaters threatened their homes, and their attitude is gratitude. We're glad we found them so we could get back to our family in Lafayette. Everyone here survived the storm, but many of their possessions did not. It's hope and pray whatever I have left, I can salvage and start over again. There you go, girl. Marines also rescued dozens of animals left behind in Rita's winds and rain. Oh, we've been finding them in backyards, just sitting there with water up to their heads. And even keeping our heads above water wasn't always easy. And here's an idea of what the Marines are dealing with. We are actually in need of rescue ourselves on this search and rescue mission. The seven ton truck that we're in and the one behind us were trying to get around some of the cars that were stuck in the road here. And as they were doing that, it was difficult to tell where the road ended. And now we're partly down into a ditch. We're waiting for another truck to come and pick us up and rescue us off of here. My photographer Kevin Martells and I abandoned ship. <laughs> How was that? Crazy, man. Look at that. And ours is the same way. Not counting us, the Marines rescued 11 people here. And for the Corps, it's not a chore, but a challenge. Even if there's one person out there, we could search 200 homes. But if there's one person, you know, stuck in an attic somewhere or, uh, you know, just trying to be rescued, you know, if we, if we can take them out of this and, and we can help out, then it's worth it. But even the Marines couldn't save people's memories and the thoughts of all they lost to Mother Nature's fury. We don't know what we're going to do right now. We're just trying to find out all our stuff, if we got anything salvaged or not. And, bro, we ain't got nothing left. 